Good afternoon and welcome to Delhi Stock Market Update. The DCX extended its losing streak for the second consecutive day as it lost 73.62 points or 1.1 percent and settled at 6,592 points. Market turnover was BDT 11.36 billion, which is a decrease of 9.72 percent compared to the previous trading day. Grameen Phone and Roby from the telecom sector. Bragg Bank, Bank Asia, UCB, IFIC Bank, Jomuna Bank, and the City Bank from the banking sector, and Envoy Paramount, Square Textile, and Maxon Spinning Mills from the textile sector dragged the market down today. All the sectors lost value today. The textile sector registered the highest loss of 2.89%, while the general insurance sector posted the second highest loss of 2.22%. Five general insurance companies, three food and allied companies, and three textile companies were among the top 20 losers today. Bangladesh Finance, Imam Baton, and ACI Formulations registered the highest gain, while Asia Insurance, JMI Hospital Requisite, and Jiminy Seafood were the top losers. Investors may have exerted buying pressure on the Bangladesh Finance's stock as the company posted a decline in its earnings compared to the previous year, even though it's registered growth in its net operating cash flow per share. On the other hand, Asia Insurance fell in value today as it posted a significant decline in its quarterly earnings and net operating cash flow per share compared to the previous year. There was no disclosed price sensitive information for the remaining stocks. The trading volume of SEI formulations, Bongos and Rongpur Dairy surged significantly today compared to the average trading volume of last three months. There was no publicly disclosed fundamental reason for the volume increase for the above mentioned stocks. Today's top to this. The poor deposit growth coupled with central bank's intervention in the foreign exchange market dragged the country's access liquidity of the banking sector to BDT 1,98,115 crore at the end of March 2022. Surplus liquidity in the banking sector talked to record high of BDT 2,31,000 crore. 463 crore in June 2021 from Taka 3,358 crore in January 2020 as the government poured surplus money through stimulus packages and purchase of US dollars to revive the economy from the shock of pandemic. With the passage of time, the economy has been rebounding strongly with higher private loan demand that grew by 11.29% during April and central banks sold more than $4 billion to clear higher import bill payments. Hence, the excess liquidity is experiencing a downtrend in the recent months. Recently, Bangladesh Bank ordered banks to collect letter of credit advance for import payments up to 75% for luxury and non-essential goods so that the country's rising import payments can be contained. However, importers need to keep a minimum 50% margin in banks to open a letter of credit. Central Bank came to this decision as upcoming import adjustments will reduce foreign exchange reserves by $2.24 billion. That's all for today. We'll be back again tomorrow with more updates on Dhaka Stock Exchange. Follow Alert Global on Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.